What is going on, everyone? This is Summerly2. Welcome you guys back to another exciting episode of our TLTPG Pokemon Black 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, you guys, we made it to, uh... What town is this? <laughs> I honestly forgot about the town. Uh, where, where are we? Where are we? Uh, we are in... Opelucid City, where we met up with Iris, and uh, I think today we are going to be taking on the 7th gym uh, leader, Drayden, and hopefully we'll, we won't get absolutely blown back as I did off screen, as you guys do see on the screen, the team had a little bit of a change. I'll go over that in just a second, but before we do, if you're liking the series so far, go ahead and leave it a like, and go ahead and uh, co comment down below. Uh, Comment down below now what your favorite pizza topping is. And if you say pineapple, I'm deleting the comment and I might block you on Facebook. That that that, that just might be how, how it happens. But you know, uh, like I said, <laughs> off screen, I started to grind. There was a breeder out there uh, in between the routes, in between Opelucid City and the city with the bridge, and she ended up having the uh, the Electros and the Kingdra. And I didn't realize I could rebattle her. Uh, so I, so I'm like, once I did find out, I started to grind off of her, which turned out to be really, really well. The only problem with that is the more you just continuously grind and grind and grind, the more likely they are to crit you. So unfortunately, uh, I'll show you guys here right now. It sucks because some of these members were with us for so, one of the members was with us for so long. We unfortunately ended up losing Kylie. Our victory bell, our sleep powder user. I'm so sad. I'm so sorry, Kylie. But we lost Kylie to um. We un unfortunately lost Kylie to a hydro pump crit, of all things, as well as we lost Z the Zoroark to um. To a crit as well from from the Kingdra. The Kingdra is just too powerful, and it it just sucks because that means I just had more grinding to do, and I just barely, I just barely finished grinding and putting everything on the layout. Uh, but you know, let's go ahead and actually get a quick team recap, as you know the. A team has changed, but first up on the squad, added to the squad, we have Bobby, a Bobby, our newly evolved Scrafty, holding the leftovers just because I didn't really have anything else to give him, but now that I saw that Z was holding the expert belt, I might put that on, but I got everyone up to level 50, so level 50 uh, has Break Break, Crunch, Chip Away, and High Jump Kick. I haven't really looked at any of our, um... Uh, any of our TMs yet to see if uh, Bobby can learn anything else, but I like this moveset so far and it can only get better. Up next we have the newly evolved Professor X, our uh, Metagross now, holding the King's Rock as always, rocking out with Zen Headbutt, Bullet Punch, learned Hammer Arm and Meteor Mash off screen, and this moveset is complete, it is powerful, I don't really see it changing for the remainder of this Let's Play. But, I mean, I'm just happy just to have Professor X just in general, you know. Uh, I've never really used the Metagross in a Let's Play, if I'm not mistaken. Did I? Maybe not, but I maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But, like, always having, like, a pseudo-legendary is always fun and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's Professor X, our Metagross. Coming up next is probably um, one of the older members on our squad. We have... Uh, Surge, our level 50 Raichu, holding the Magnet to power up those moves like Thunderbolt and Volt Tackle, wrecking out with Fly and Heart Stand, basically the same move set that Surge has had, honestly, for at least, at least 15 episodes or so. Um, up next, we then have Annie, our Heatmore, our starter that you guys chose for us, who's rocking out with Flame Burst, Heart Stamp, Water Spout, Bug Bite, holding that charcoal to power up that fire type of move. Up next on the squad, we have Hype! the Rayquaza, uh, wrecking out at level 50 as well, uh, learning, uh, has Nasty Plot, learned Outrage off screen, so I went ahead and taught him that, so we had a Dragon type Stab, Surf, and Hyper Voice, and let me tell you, I get up one Nasty Plot and things die. Things honestly do die when it comes to Hype, and so, I'm probably not gonna be saying this later on, or not caring later on, but if I can, I don't want to use Surge unless I have to because Surge is so powerful I mean it's a Rayquaza look at those stats its lowest def uh, stat is its defense and it's at 99 I go up here and I got stats that are in the 70s and 80s 70s 
Okay, Metagross is an exception. We're not gonna worry about that, but... But yeah, if I ha can't avoid it, I'm gonna keep Rayquaza in the back if, if possible. He's our- he's gonna be- he's gonna be our- our green siren. He's gonna be our green siren, for sure. And last but not least, making her return to the squad is Terra, the Torterra, holding the Quick Claw. Just because you never know when it's gonna pop and come in handy. Rocking out with Razor Leaf, Stone Edge, Crunch, and Earthquake. So, that is our new team. Some new ones, some old ones added to the squad. And I'm really, really happy about that. We're going to go ahead and actually stop by at the store. And we're going to stock up on some Hyper Potions. We're going to buy 13. By the way, because I continuously did battle that girl, that breeder, she gave me a lot of money. I should have put Amulet Corn instead of Lucky Egg. But, you know, we're, we're here. We're here now. It's, it's what happens. It's what happens. How many full hills? Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. And we should be good to go. We should be good. We should be good to go, my dudes. So I do remember um, we did battle the first trainer in Drayden's Gym. So we don't have to worry about that. Who am I leading with? We are leading with Bobby. You know, let's go ahead and lead with... You know what? Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and lead with... We're going to switch things around. Keep hype in the back. We're going to go ahead and switch... Uh, switch things around and lead off with Terra just because Terra has been sitting in the PC box for a while I th if I recall correctly she took on an Arceus for our first gym battle so let's make sure that she has a warm welcome back here so let's go ahead and get started here We're gonna go up it's such a slow moving statue I think we only have to battle one of these guys so we'll go to the one on the left because you never know and hopefully, you know, I'm still pretty on par with the trainers themselves so that when we face Drayden, we're not overleveled at all. I don't think we will because these guys were having level 50s last episode. So uh, we're going to go ahead and battle uh, Elite Trainer Kimberly, who starts off with the Silcoon. Okay. We good with this. We're good with this. Hopefully, I just don't miss any stone edges. Oh, my gosh. Look how powerful. Look how powerful Terra is on the screen. Oh, my God. We land the Stone Edge. Nice. And it's a crit, too. Wow. Terra is just here to put in the work. And Electabuzz, we're leaving her in. We are oh, we are automatically leaving Terra in. Holy cow. Yeah, so level 49. So we're, we're right there. Light screen. My boy, my girl, you just went for the wrong move there. Uh, catch this earthquake and die. That's all I got to say. There we go. Terra is just going to be tearing through. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll stop. Um, almost level 51. Holy cow. Let's go ahead and go. Can I go up? Yep, we sure can. I think I'm going to go ahead and skip the other trainers if I can in this gym. So we went left before. We'll go ahead and go right this time. I'm gonna go ahead and walk on up. Triple battles! <gasps> okay, triple battles! I guess we're gonna be doing a triple battle. <laughs> so, alright. This is gonna be kind of cool. Starts out with Stun Skuntank, Lilligant, and Palpatode? Alright, alright. Let's see who we have where. Terra is just where. Um. She needs to be Professor X. I think could do really well. So we're gonna go ahead and just we're gonna Razor Leaf. We are going to we're probably gonna Zen a headbutt, and then we're just gonna go ahead and Thunderbolt, just straight ahead and hit them all. Skuntank is more than likely gonna live this. Yep, Zen a headbutt. Hopefully we'll be able to flinch. Uh, Lilligant can't really do anything to us, but you know I would like to flinch. The f it did flinch! Alright, awesome. King's Rock coming through. And the Razor Leaf might be able to pick up the kill on it as well as... Oh, oh the squad is just looking so powerful. The squad is powerful. The squad is powerful. It's I just, I just kind of wish that we had Kylie with us still. <laughs> Terra's now 51. Giga Drain. I mean... <sighs> See, this is the thing. It's like, I would definitely put Giga Drain on Terra if Terra was more specially offensive, but because Torterras are really run physically, I'm not about that, and so we're gonna just 
continue on and I've noticed that Surge and Rayquaza are really no 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 we're really balanced for some reason I thought we were mostly physical attackers but you know we're, we're good we're really balanced if anything uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep our old moves we're not gonna learn Giga Drain <laughs> Night Slash Ooh, I'm glad that didn't go on Metagross we static it that that's that's game that is game that is game that is a game we're just gonna go ahead and do this we're gonna oop, nope we're gonna go ahead and bullet punch and we're just gonna go ahead and Thunderbolt we're going to Thunderbolt and the quick claw popped but it doesn't matter look at the squad look at the squad all right, awesome. I almost want to do that rotation battle. I almost want to do that rotation battle on the other side because I know that's what that is. Are we up to the head? We are, so it is time. The dragon's clashing in battle. Okay, let's, okay, first of all, we are going to heal up Surge. We are definitely going to heal up Surge, make sure everyone is up, oh, is ready to go. And we are gonna go ahead and save our game. Time playing is 30 minutes. That can't be right. Oh no. <laughs> it's late. I'm sorry. 29 hours. See, for me, that, that, ugh. Don't. We're not even talking. I'm not even gonna finish that thought. I'm sorry. Alright. Uh, if I remember correctly. I kind of gave Drayden the Alex Armstrong voice. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Who welcome, Edward Elric. Thank you for coming. I am Opal Lucid Pokemon Gym Leader Drayden. Look at my muscles. As mayor, I have given everything to developing the city in honor of the Armstrong name. As a trainer, I've simply been pursuing greater strength and greater muscles. But what I am searching for now is a young trainer who can show me a bright future and use their alchemy against me in a most splendid and beautiful way. Perhaps you can show me that future the way Iris has. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. It's been forever since we've done a gym battle. Alright. Let's get ready. Send out Riolu? Come on, Drayden. Drayden, really? This is how we're starting? We're level 50, so we are on par. We're going to be a little bit under his ace, so that's awesome. That's awesome. So let's go ahead, and we are going to go ahead, and we're just going to Earthquake. We're going to Earthquake. We're going to hit. Just a... Okay, for some reason, I thought something else was going to happen. Earthquake comes off. Riolu goes down. All right, Terra. Uh, let's see. Who's up next? On Pheasant. Ooh, I know someone to deal with you. We're going to go ahead and send in Surge. Hopefully this Unpheasant doesn't have anything crazy. I know it gets Night Slash for sure. Uh, but I don't... Normal attacks, fi uh, flying attacks. We should be good. We outspeed. Thunderbolt connects with the magnet on top of it. This thing's going down. What an ugly bird, too. Like, a pigeon... Turn no, no, a dove turns into a pigeon, which is basically a pigeon. Then it turns into a pheasant. It's just ugly as all hell. Worst bird ever a crocker rock Ooh, it's time for bobby to make his debut here we go here we go here we go this is actually really easy this is a really easy gym battle i probably should have trained up to f level 50 i probably should have Ooh, the intimidate i should have probably uh gone up to 48 or so yeah this is this should, this looks like his ace at level 52 but goes for the earthquake he outspeeds interesting uh, we live in that goes for the brick break so how much does this do with the intimidate it doesn't do enough he has a citrus berry though I am Ooh, but I do have the leftovers still I do have the leftovers so I can definitely take another earthquake I can take a stab earthquake from this thing unless it crits hopefully it doesn't do that so we're gonna go ahead and brick break here goes for the earthquake we're living we're living we're living we're living. Awesome. Br so Brick Break comes off, kills a Crocorock. It was actually kind of scary there. Intimidate did matter. 
the leftovers is just oh so good. It's a good item. A shiftery, huh? Oh, wait, we have Annie. What am I thinking? What am I doing just sitting there? We have Annie. Oh, look at the squad just coming together. Alright, so here comes the shiftery. This should be his last mon. Yep. So here comes the flame burst. And I think that's game. There we go. That's that's our gym. That's our gym battle. Alright, alright, let me go ahead and update this. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. How do I do this? I think I just do that. And boom! Our legend badge is ours. Oop, I gotta click back on the game. Who on that fellow? I'm grateful that we had a chance to meet in battle. It reminded me that Pokemon battles are about working with others to meet our challenges together. Very nice. It spit all over my screen, but you know, that's yeah. So seven badges down, one more to go. All right. <laughs> well, now you've obtained seven of the gym badges in Unova. That means Pokemon up to level 80, including those received in trades, will follow your commands obediently. I also want you to have this. It's a TM I'm particularly fond of. It's called Dragon Tail, but what is it really? Sonic Boom. My TM luck is it's been on and off. It's like either really good or it's really bad. We don't need to There's no please wait outside. So he's gonna be telling us more about the dragon Pokemon. Which means I have to use that voice more. We're slowly just gonna go go down. So slow. You know, I actually haven't used uh, speed up this uh, this episode, so you guys should be proud of me there. <laughs> All right, oh, there we go. Nice and easy gym battle. Hopefully, the Elite Four gives us a little bit more trouble than that. You know. All right, here we go. I'll show you the way. Follow me. All right. Can I heal Pokemans first? Can I heal my Pokemans? Yep, I can. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal really quick. All right, let's go ahead and continue. This way. We're here! Okay, come inside! Let me tell you the story. It's a long story. Oh gosh, I won't be able to... <laughs> I won't be able to do that voice. That, that hurts my voice. It was two years ago when the two dragon Pokemon were awakened. The black dragon Pokemon Zekrom pursued what is ideal with the desire to usher in a new world of hope. And the white dragon Reshiram sought what is true with the desire to usher in a, a new world of goodness. Zekrom and Reshiram were, Reshiram were once a single Pokemon. You may wonder why it split in two. The single dragon Pokemon has had helped the twin heroes bring a new region into being with which, uh, but the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth and the younger brother who sought ideals, sundered the region in two as they fought to see which of them was right. It's that this desperate uh, in that desperate hour, the single dragon Pokemon split its body into a black and a white Pokemon, even though uh, ideals and truths don't need to be in opposition. As the story goes, the third dragon Pokemon, Kyurem, also came into existence in that era, and there may be proof of this to be found in a treasure passed down in my family for generations. It was passed down the Armstrong family for generations. <laughs> I think that's why I gave this guy, the, <laughs> I gave Drain the voice, the DNA splicers. Professor Juniper's research determined that the materials in the splicers date back to the same era as the materials used in building the Dragon Spiral Tower. Oh, the DNA splicers are stored very safely. I guard them because I don't know what kind of power might lie within them. But here's what's been bothering me. Could there be more 
one more dragon Pokemon, even if Kyurem does really exist, we don't know what kind of Pokemon it is. For starters, the two Pokemon, the ancient Pokemon split into, are both overwhelmingly powered. So if Kyurem exists, could it be just a, just a husk, a shell that was left over? Boom. Story begins. And my phone is going nuts, I'm sorry. Hold on, I'll be quiet that down. Hmm, what was that sound? Mayday, said Lord Henrik. What was that? Oh, snap, we get some cutscenes. I'll be quiet. I'm not gonna lie, if I just saw a, a pirate ship floating in the air like that and all of a sudden a cannon pointed at me, I'd jump on my 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 fastest flying Pokemon and get the hell out of there, I'll tell you that much right now. See, and see that's the thing that I don't understand when it comes to Pokemon games. Like, yeah, black and white, the gym leaders came and saved the day and stuff, but like, we just literally just watched this happen and Drayden didn't do a single damn thing. So, this world of ice. Huxerus, use Dragon Tail. What are you gonna do against ice? You're weak against ice. That's enough, Huxerus. Look at that animation. That was cool. Not only did the ice see unbroken, there's not even a scratch on it. What's going on? I don't. Th Let's see. Who is this? I don't think that's going to work. Oh, I don't think that's going to work. I remember you from Ernst Castle. It's bitter cold. I'm shivering, I'm suffering, but I'm alive. It's what the essence of life feels like. It's proof of my existence. <coughs> God, my voice is going to be gone for the next episode. Well, that's enough of philosophy. Here are the facts of your for your admiration. This ice was specifically created by Team Plasma's technology. As long as we have our secret weapon, you'll never be able to melt or even break this ice. Let me explain our purpose here. Trayden, hand over the DNA splices. Opelucid City is a city where the past and the future are intertwined. Could there be a more perfect place for the splices that connect the separated Pokemon? Do you think that someone who knows what you two did, I mean, what you did two years ago, will just hand them over quietly? Hmm. That's what I thought you'd say. At this point, I'd like to threaten you with another volley of ice, but we can't use it for a moment. Ah, <sighs> it won't be enjoyable in this cold, but I guess we'll just search for them. Those foul villains, Teal TPG. I want you to help me. We're going to drive Team Plasma out of Opelucid City. Alright. So we're exploring the ice. The iced Opelucid City. I gotta take care of the others. Alright. Look how eerie the music got now. Oh my gosh, that music got eerie as all hell. All right. <sighs> a gibble. That's a gibble. All right. Let's go ahead and razor leaf. I'm gonna speed some of these up just so we can get into more story. There we go. Treat down. Oh my goodness, huh. it's too late in the night. There we go. Even the doors are closed, holy cow. Okay, we'll go ahead and battle you. In a Lola Mola, perfect Pokemon for Terra to handle. Get blown back. Just get blown. Oh yeah, that's right. It's an Alola Mola. Please don't have protect. It doesn't have protect. Okay. 
if this thing wish protected on me, I would have gotten a played. Pikachu, we staying in. Yeah, nothing to worry about with Pikachu. And the quick club pops! Okay, there we go. There's two. I think there might be one more. Yes. That's back at the gym. So I gotta battle you, I think, right? Yeah, here we go. By the way, I would just like to mention, I've been noticing the sprites on the bottom of the screen, and if you look at Professor X, he kind of does like this little shuffle. Like, see, right there, right there, he does like this little shuffle. I think it's the funniest thing ever. Man, you know, Terra, why did I ever take you off the team? You're incredible. Like, seriously. Here's L52. Gosh, Terra's just destroying everything. A C dot. Oh my god, I'm so worried. Man, these guys really need to have better Pokemon. They're getting blown to hell back. Alright, is that everyone? I think that should be everyone! The only one left is Zinzalon of the Seven Sages. Where could he be? I think I gotta go back up to the gym now. Right? Yep, okay. Oh, for crying out loud! I didn't expect to have to fight hampered by cold like this. Well, no matter. The fact I'm shivering means I'm truly alive. <coughs> oh, shit. That, that voice is terrible. All right, so I'm not going to be speeding this one up because it's it's a sage. It's a trainer out. All right, Gothitelle. Ooh, Gothitelle. We're going to switch into Bobby. Held by Quick Claw. Gonna go ahead and play it safe and switch into Bobby. But oh, gosh dang it, Bobby, you get your ass out here. Heal block. Perfect play, because that stops my leftovers from going. <laughs> Telekinesis. That isn't that lower our Wait, what is that? What is telekinesis? What does telekinesis do? Hold on. It levitated us in the air, but what did that do? Does that do anything? <laughs> what does telekinesis do? Guys, let me know what it does in the comments down below, please. A clay doll, we're staying in. Just as long as this thing doesn't explode, we should be good. You know what? Why did I even have to um, switch? Because Torterra, like, Terra has crunch on her as well, so the fact that I switched, I don't know why I did that. I was free from the tele I guess it just lifted me off the ground or something. Power split? Okay. Ugh. Look at the new members of the squad coming through. Rock climb. Rock climb is a normal type move. It definitely replaced Chippewa. Well, then again, Chippewa was space 70. I don't know if I should have done that. Hindsight is a perfect 2020. And Amona! Bobby was perfect. Bobby was honestly the perfect thing that we needed for this. Level 52. Holy cow. But Mana shouldn't be able to eat much eat too much. It might live. No, we just straight up knock it out, okay. <sighs> Alright. Hopefully I could I can survive through the voices here. You're a strong trainer. You definitely are adept at handling Pokemon. I believe I'll take my leave simply because I can't stand this cold, but imagine this. A Unova region completely covered in ice. To achieve that splendor, we'll do whatever it takes to obtain the DNA splicers. Your human butter off than I hoped. Thanks to you, we drove them off. I'm grateful to your Pokemon also. <coughs> After that, at least I can do is heal them with this medicine. Wait here a moment, I'll be right back. And he's back. Haroomph! That's a new record for making it there and back. 
Look, TLTVG. These are the DNA splices. Cool. This is what they were after. We're really fortunate Team Plasma didn't get their hands on them. I don't know what their goal is, but I'm sure they're planning something wicked. Oh, snap. The Shadow Triad. <laughs> As suspected, the hiding place was in the team. Well thought out. If Drayden isn't here, we can't get in. If he is there, he is the strongest god we could possibly face. It also explains why the Pokemon Gym was remodeled. Whatever, the DNA splices are in our hands now. It is beyond my imagination to think that you'd use one of the seven sages to find out where the splices are. Now you know, then we will accomplish our goals, no matter what the cost. We don't have the ability to captivate the hearts of others like Lord N does. Instead, we will bend the people to our will with brute force. Two years was surprisingly a long wait. If they've been stolen from us, we'll just have to take them back. So now I gotta run around the town again and fight the Shadow Triad? Yo, that's pretty cool, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and save that for the next episode. If you guys enjoyed uh, what you are seeing, please leave a like, comment down below. Um, like, like I asked, what's your favorite uh, pizza topping? Mine's definitely gonna be pepperoni, just because pepperoni is delicious. If you, once again, if you comment pineapple, I might do something crazy. You never know what's gonna happen. But all in all, thank you guys so much for watching. I do greatly appreciate you watching this series, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one.